Have you ever captured a lovely video on your phone? A family moment, a beautiful view, or your dog doing something hilarious? And then wish you could tidy it up a little without having to download complicated editing software. Well, the good news is you can. Google Photos has a built-in video editor that lets you make simple but powerful changes right on your phone. It's quick, it's free, it's perfect for everyday video memories. And stick around to the end because I've got a bonus tip that will help you keep those newly edited videos not only safe but searchable. It's a small step that makes a big difference when you're looking back at your precious memories. What can you actually do with the video editor in Google Photos? Now, before we dive into the how, let's take a look at the what. Google Photos might not give you the full bells and whistles of something like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro, but honestly, for everyday life, it gives you just what you need. You can trim the awkward bits off the beginning and the end of your video clips. You can straighten them if they're a little bit askew. You can apply filters. You can tidy up the brightness and colors. You can even stabilize the clip if it's a little bit wobbly. Great if you were walking while you were filming. And you can pop on a bit of background music to make it feel really polished. If your phone is full of birthday party clips, snippets of holidays, or just life's lovely chaos, this is a brilliant tool to help those those videos feel more special and shareworthy. Editing videos in Google Photos on your phone. Let's walk through the process together so you can follow along while I screen record. You can see exactly where I tap, what options you have, and how to save your final masterpiece. Open the Google Photos app on your phone. This is the same app you're probably already using to back up your photos, so there's no need to download anything else. Find the video you want to edit. You can either scroll through your library or tap on the search bar and filter by videos to narrow it down. Tap on the video to open it. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap the edit icon. It looks like three sliders or a pencil, depending on your phone. The first screen you land on is the trim area. Here you can drag the white handles from either end to trim off any unwanted footage at the start or end, like that moment when you're fumbling with your camera. Next, tap the crop tab. This is where you can rotate, straighten, or change the aspect ratio. If your video was shot slightly off kilter, use the slider to gently straighten it. You can also crop if you want to remove any distractions. Then go to the adjust tab. This is where you can fine tune the look of your video. Play around with brightness, contrast, warmth, and shadows. Just tap and drag the sliders until it looks right to you. If your video is a little bit shaky, then you can go back and use the stabilize button. Tap it and Google Photos will automatically smooth out the motion. It might take a minute or two to process depending on the length of your video, but it's pretty cool. Once you're happy, tap save a copy. This creates a brand new version of your video with edits applied while keeping the original intact just in case you want to go back and change something later. And just like that, you've gone from scrappy clip to polished memory, all from your phone. Easy. Take your videos to the next level. Now let's take your videos to that extra special level by adding some music. There's a really lovely little feature tucked inside Google Photos called Highlight Video that you can use to add music to a specific video. It's simple, it's fun, and it gives your everyday clips that little emotional lift. Start from your main Google Photos screen and tap the plus icon at the top. From the options that pop up, select Highlight Video. Then at the bottom, tap to select Photos. Don't worry, even though it says photos, you can still pick a video here too. Choose the video you want to add music to and then tap create. Once your video loads, you'll see a musical note icon. Tap on that, now the fun begins. You can add either music you already have on your phone or use Google's built-in themes. There are loads of styles to choose from, dramatic, electronic, R&B and soul, reflective, rockin' or upbeat. So whatever the mood of your video, there's something to match. Select your preferred vibe and then hit save. And once it processes, tap save again. Just like that, a new version of your video complete with your background music will be saved to your Google Photo library.
Honestly, it couldn't be easier. It's such a nice way to give your videos that polished, shareable feel without needing any fancy editing tools. Now, if you're getting the hang of video editing, but the idea of actually organizing your growing collection of clips and photos still feels like a mountain to climb, that's where my Photo Mess Success courses come in. They are designed to help you sort out your digital photo and video chaos and build a system that works for you. Whether you're on a Mac or a PC, want to use cloud storage or local files, I guide you step-by-step step to take back control without the overwhelm. So if you're ready to tackle your collection once and for all, head on over to photomessuccess.co.uk and have a little peek. But don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you mid-video, we've still got more tips to come. Extra editing tips for even better results. Here are a few extra things to keep in mind while you're editing. Tip one, always save as a copy. You don't want to lose your original footage, especially if it was a once in a lifetime moment. Editing non-destructively is a safe and smart habit. Tip two, keep it short and sweet. If your video is meant for sharing on social media or with family, trimming it down helps keep people engaged. They'll thank you in the long run. Tip three, use albums to keep your edited videos organized. After you've edited a few clips from a birthday party or a holiday, pop them in an album called The Best of Paris 2024 or Charlie's Birthday. That way you can find them again easily and enjoy them without digging through your entire camera roll. Bonus tip, add descriptions to make videos searchable. Now for that bonus tip I promised you. After editing, go back to your newly saved video and tap the three dots in the top corner. From there, select to edit the caption. You can type in anything, where the video was taken, who was in it, or even what's happening. This makes it so much easier to find the video later. Instead of scrolling through hundreds of clips, you can type beach day or mum dancing at Christmas and magic. Google Photos finds it for you. This is one of those little things that makes a big difference when your collection starts to grow. And there you have it, your guide to editing videos on your phone using Google Photos. So next time you capture a great little moment, don't let it get buried on your camera roll. Trim it, tidy it, and give it the attention it deserves. But what if you want to make sure your Google Photos is backing up all your phone photos? Then check out this little video next. If you found this video helpful, give it that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.